Hello, George Romanich here. Today we are going to talk about the mass of our atmosphere. How heavy is the Earth's atmosphere? Clearly, it's full of air, and if you would stack that air above a scale, you would get mass. But how do we do it? The answer is we cannot do it in a way that we would put something on a scale to measure it directly. But what we can do is use the great laws of physics to calculate the mass of the atmosphere. I can tell you it's 5.2 times 10 to power 18 kilograms. That's enormous mass. Let's go. Let us first calculate mass of the air sitting above one square meter of Earth's surface. So we have one square meter and now I have a column of air extending from the surface all the way to the top of the atmosphere. In this column of air, we have air molecules. And of course, there are more of them close to the surface than at higher elevations because gravity is acting down. This will be my z-axis height. Pressure exerted by this air on the surface is F over A. That's the definition of pressure, force over an area. But what is the force in this case? Well, it's the weight of this air column acting on this square meter. So that would be weight of the air divided by one square meter. But weight, we know, is mass of the air in this column times gravitational acceleration divided by one square meter. Of course, we know that gravitational acceleration is 9.81 meter per second squared. And therefore, from here, we can simply find that mass is equal one square meter times pressure divided by g. We will take a normal surface pressure of 1000 millibar, which is probably around your place now with, when you're watching this video. We also know that this is 1000 hectopascals, millibar is equivalent to hectopascals, or in pascals, SI units, this is 1000 and then hecto, two more zero pascals. So 100,000 pascals. If you plug in this number here together with G, you will get that mass of the air in a one square meter column is uh, approximately 10 tons, 10,194 uh, kilograms, and that is approximately 10 metric tons. For your reference, one average sized car is about two tons. So approximately five stacked cars are as heavy as a column of air stretching from the surface all the way to the top of the atmosphere. How do we generalize this result for the entire planet rather than one square meter? Well, here is a sketch of our planet. And let's say this is the atmosphere. This is not to scale. Here we had weight of the air acting down, this weight of the air, pushing on one square meter. Perhaps this column was over here, let's just assume. That column that I analyzed was over here, which means z-axis was going up, weight was acting down. If I take another column over here, z-axis will run up against the surface, weight will act down, and so on. You can see that height z is really perpendicular to the Earth's surface at any point. So we generalize this result. We say if this was mass per square meter of a column, then mass of the atmosphere will be this result, P over G, which was the result per square meter, times area of the planet Earth. As I said many, many times on this channel, the beauty of 
presenting quantities per unit area, per unit second, and so on, is that we can easily then find the quantity per any other area by multiplying by that other area. Well, we approximate that Earth is a sphere, and area of a sphere, area of an Earth, is 4 pi radius of the Earth squared, whereas this is the radius of the Earth. We also know that an average value of the radius of the Earth is 6,371 kilometers. So if you plug in this number over here and we have pressure and G, you will get that mass of the air entire atmosphere is approximately 5.2 times 10 to power 18 kilograms. You see, it is impossible for us to really measure mass of the atmosphere, but knowing physics, and in this case, second Newton's law, and the definition of pressure, we can easily calculate astonishing number that is 5.2 times 10 to power 18 kilograms of air in our atmosphere. Now, when you are walking down the street, you can visualize and imagine the mass of the air that is stacked above you. And you can also imagine the mass of the entire, entire atmosphere. How did we get it? We studied atmospheric sciences and we studied physics. Until next video, goodbye.